Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Randy here with my Samsung Epic 4G again. Uh, today we're going to be looking at ViperOM version 4.0.2a. This is uh, using the EXT4 partition. It's supposed to make things a lot faster. Um, I just recently installed it maybe a few hours ago, and uh, everything seems to be working pretty good. I get a good GPS lock, um, data, all that stuff works great. Um, however, when you go to uh, try to change your input method from swipe to the gingerbread, uh, don't. That's that's my best advice to you is absolutely do not do it. Um, as soon as you hit gingerbread keyboard, it starts force closing all over the place, so you really don't want to mess with it. Leave it with swipe until that gets figured out. Um, I'll be doing another video uh, tutorial walkthrough on how to install this ROM. Um, I had quite a few issues getting it installed. I ended up having to use Odin and go all the way back to the stock DK28 um, and then I had to format my SD card from the phone uh, and then follow the steps to get it to work. I, I end up with a whole lot of problems trying to get this working but I'll post a tutorial on how I did it and uh, you know try it out and see what you think. Um, from now on I'm gonna put a disclaimer in the video. I've had some people really upset that uh, a Samsung Intercept ROM that I showed people how to update onto their phones. Um, I guess one or two people weren't following the directions and screwed their phones up and, and they had some pretty nasty things to say to me and blame me for it. So uh, even though I put it in the description, I'm going to tell you right now, um, you know, if you cannot afford to go out and purchase another phone, you probably shouldn't be playing around with this because there is definitely a risk that you can break your phone. Now, I've I've tried ROM after ROM with this phone. I've had it lock up. I've been stuck in boot loops, um, but I have yet to find anything I could do to brick it, and I can always Odin it back. So, you know, some people think their phone's bricked when in reality it's not that bad, but when you go around calling me nasty names and, and saying uh, really, really mean things about me and uh, my videos, um, you really can't expect me to help you fix your phone after all that. So, anyway, go ahead and fire it up real quick. Focusing it a little bit better there. Alright, uh, this is 4.0.2a, and like I said, this is using the XT4 partition. Um, I will be doing another one. There is another ROM out already. It's 4.0.2b, but I figured before uh, before we went into that, I'd go ahead and show you the first one with the XT4 partition and get you an idea of what it looks like and what you can expect from it. So, here's what you're going to see when you first bring it up. Here's your phone. Messaging looks the same. Let's see if I can focus this in a little bit better. It looks horrible. There we go. And you got your settings. As you can see there, it's a uh, 2.2.1, all the good stuff, DK28, 4.0.2, this is version A. Uh, show you what your keyboard looks like here. It's your typical keyboard, nothing special about it. And you pull down menu, and your button's up top. And we'll go ahead and jump into uh, Linpack real quick, see what we can pull out of it. Now, all these results, these are real-world real results. These are not uh, lag fixes or, or any anything like that. And this is the first one I've run on it, so you can see I've got a 14. 
it's pretty good. Um, these scores aren't aren't fake. There's no uh, no baked in lag fix or any of that stuff. These are just real scores using the EXT4 partition. And I'm sure as time goes along, th things will only get better with this. All right. So we'll go back to uh, let's go to quadrant. It's a very snappy little round. It works really well. Of course, I'm not really surprised. Everything that uh, I've ever used from Viper ROM has turned out to be a really good ROM. But this whole uh, this whole EXT4 partition thing has really taken off. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what all the benefits are to it, but uh, I'll provide a link under the description that'll take you to the uh, XDA developer site where B Thomas 22X um, has all his work, and uh, you'll be able to read up a little more about it get a better idea of what's going on and uh that's actually really good that's uh this is the first test i've run I'm, I'm actually really impressed with that i don't know if you can see it but that's a 1567 and that's with no lag fix of of any kind that's uh <laughs> that's really good okay sorry about that i got kind of amazed for a minute there and we'll run a uh, SQL here. Anyway, like I said, this is just a, a quick demonstration, a little bit of a walkthrough. Um, just showing you guys what it what it is, what it looks like, and what you can expect before you go through all the trouble of putting on because it is a it is a hassle to put on. Um, I mean, when you read the directions, it doesn't look that complicated, but uh, I followed the directions and I was running 4.0.1, and I mean this thing crashed left and right. I had to try three different three different times to get this thing to go on, and uh, finally, what worked for me was just going back with Odin, starting back from a stock. Uh, DK28 ROM and then going through the whole uh, one click root process again and formatting the SD card and, and then putting it starting back over from scratch so you, you're going to want to make sure you back everything up before you try this just in case because things can definitely go wrong with it um, check GPS status real quick I tried maps earlier and it, it got a good lock on me. In fact, it showed exactly where I was in my own house. It, it had such a good lock on it, but I have not tried uh, the navigation. And there you go. That is absolutely where I live. It's excellent. And you can see it got a really quick lock. Let's try maps real quick. And it's saying that my compass is not calibrated. In any case, regardless of that, it's a uh, it's got a pretty good lock on me here, because this is the roof of my house. Those are not my cars. Never seen those cars before in my life, but uh, it's pretty close. Um, there's my house, and it's saying that basically I'm outside on my back porch. My back porch patio is right here, when in reality, I am right about here. But, you know, hey, it's it's only a room or so off, so not too shabby. So, uh, GPS works, Wi-Fi works, the phone works, data's working. Um, I, I, don't, I don't see any problems with it at all. Just stay away from the gingerbread keyboard. Um, I'll give you an example of what happens here real quick. 
just so you can see that you don't want to do it. You go to this gingerbread keyboard and you'll get force closes all the time, no matter what you do. You can be sitting in the middle of trying to go to your phone or something, force closing, and just trying to go home, force close. I mean, you won't be able to do anything without getting force closed on. So uh, if you if you did accidentally go to the gingerbread keyboard, it's real simple to get out of that. So I say, yeah, you have to go into a message or something. Great. And it's not going to let me. Let's see if it'll let me. Goodness. See what I mean? Anyway, I'll figure it out because I'm getting ready to do a new video of uh, uh, 4.0.2b as soon as I flash it over. Don't use gingerbread keyboard. Um, anyway, uh, Team Viper, good job. Uh, everything everything else works, and you know it's a work in progress. This whole EXT4 is a is a whole new um, a whole new deal for for the Epic. So, uh, from what I understand, it basically just makes your phone faster. Every everything's supposed to run faster without any lag fixes or anything. Uh, it's a work in progress, but otherwise very solid ROM. Um, I'm happy with it. And, geez, we'll uh, see you here in a little bit with the 4.0.2b uh, review and with the tutorial on uh, how to install all this. So, thank you.